The New York Liberty are headed back to the WNBA Finals after the team closed out their semifinal series with the Aces on Sunday, winning 76-62 in Las Vegas, and they bounced the defending champion. So let's talk some Liberty hoops. We're going to do it with the Liberty beat reporter for Winsider, also the co-host of Pull Up with Miles and Owen. It's Miles Ehrlich who joins me now. Miles, how you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, game four, back to the finals. Uh, just a really fun series all the way through, even if it didn't go the full length. Yeah, we thought it would go five. It didn't go five, but Liberty fans are happy that they took care of business in four. And Miles, game four, this was a game that was pretty close until the fourth quarter when the Liberty pulled away. What were the Liberty able to do to close out game four and win the series? So that second half was really tight. The third quarter was 13-12 in favor of Vegas. And what really opened up the floor a little bit for New York before they went on that run, they won the fourth quarter 23-11. But it was Courtney Vandersloot. Sloot came in off the bench, and at that point, the reserves had been 0 for 9 for New York, and she made three shots in a row. One, she went for a 2 for 1 late in the uh, in the third quarter, and then she got downhill for a couple of layups earlier in the fourth, and that helped give the Liberty a bit of a lead. But defensively, they were there, too. Um, I think that was the difference, though, for me, is that Vegas was settling for a lot of those outside shots. So was New York. The difference was Courtney Vandersloot and also Leonie Fiebisch getting into the paint and getting some layups up there. That helped strengthen that lead. Yeah, they were really efficient once they got into the paint. And before this series, Miles, a lot of people I talked to said, hey, you know, Sabrina Nescu could be the X factor for the Liberty here. Another highly efficient game for her today. Has Sab been the Liberty's best player throughout this 2024 playoff run? Yeah, I think so. I, I think it's obviously between her and Brianna Stewart. But what Sab has been able to do with the ball in her hands and just the fact that she's so dynamic, either getting downhill or like we saw tonight, knocking down five threes. She's hit 20 threes across the Liberty's six playoff game. She's averaging more than 20 points, five rebounds, and five assists. She's just been really a complete player who can score at all three levels and is not afraid of having the ball in her hands at the biggest moment. And I think that that's the difference between what we were seeing last year down the stretch and what we're seeing this year. So, yeah, I would say Sav has been their best player in the postseason. Yeah, she's been phenomenal, very efficient. You saw the volume and efficiency from three-point land in the closeout game, game four against the Aces. Now, game one of the finals, that'll be Thursday night at the Barclays Center. But the Liberty, they're going to await the winner of the Sun and Link series. We'll see how that closes out. The franchise is still seeking their first WNBA title. What's it going to take for the Liberty to finally reach the mountaintop in 2024 and get, can't believe we're saying this, Miles, three more wins. What's it going to take for them to get to that mountaintop and get those three more wins? So it's a little bit tough for us to look forward right now because these are two very, very different teams that they might have to play. But for them, as it always comes back to it, Sandy Bardello saying they have to play Liberty basketball. They have to make sure that they're not making mistakes, these unforced errors that we did see a lot throughout this Vegas series. But again, in game four, where it was John Paul Jones and Leonie Fibish in foul trouble, the two of them, when they were off the floor, that was not good for New York. But when, when they were on the floor, Leo was a plus 28 and JJ was a plus 20, both in this 14-point win. So what they need to do is they need to have that advantage, the advantage of the size and the switchability and the, the floor stretching that those two provide. So they just have to play smart, play disciplined, and then they can really go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody. We will see how that all shakes out. As I said, game one of the WNBA Finals, which the Liberty will be a part of as they go for their first ever W title. That will begin on Thursday night. Miles Ehrlich will be there. He does a great job covering the Liberty for Winsider. Check him out there. Miles, we'll see you soon at the Barclays Center. Thank you. Thanks, Dex.